hello my beautiful crochet people thank you so much for uh, clicking to watch this video today if you're here it's because you're super interested to watch uh, the tutorial on how I made this beautiful top as you can see here this top is extremely beautiful and you will not want to miss um, knowing how to make this it's very cute for the summer you can dress it down or dress it up however you like but it's just really super simple to make and I hope you guys can watch this video to the end and uh, before we go ahead and move on I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel I post once a week sometimes twice twice a week and um, it's super interesting I really appreciate your support and so when you're ready let's go ahead and get started okay guys so before we get started these are the materials I'll be using for this tutorial as you can see here this is the yarn that I am using I am going to type up all the information about this yarn in the description box it's super soft it's really really nice uh, for this particular top in my opinion so if you're looking to get the same yarn please check out the description box below I am also going to be using this five millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to be using the scissors to cut my strands a darning needle to put my panel together and make my top all nice looking as well as a measuring tape to be able to get the right size that you're making so this is an optional thing if you know your size already and you're making it for your size it will be super easy but if you don't know what size you're making yet use a tape measure and this panel that we're going to be making which is the first panel is the back panel and what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much measure right underneath your armpit in the middle of your armpit actually just below your armpit you're going to measure right from the middle and looping around the back and to the other side of your armpit which is right in the middle as well so this is how you're going to get your uh, back panel so make sure you're measuring to make sure you have the right size okay all right so if you have everything that you need for this project ready please let's go ahead and get started okay guys so to go ahead and get started with this project i'm going to show you how to do a slip knot so we're going to start with a slip knot so we can do our foundation chain okay and to do a slip knot this is how i usually do it so what i do for those of you who are new to my channel i loop the yarn around my uh, finger like that it just helps me keep control and it helps me uh, make my work super even um, so if you don't know the technique to do that this is how I do it some people do it in different ways but this is how I, I put my yarn to be able to control the tension in my work okay all right so to do a slip knot I pretty much take the short side of this uh, of the yarn like that and I take my finger I pinch it with my middle finger like that my thumb with my middle finger I take the short side of the yarn I loop it around my thumb like that as if I'm going to make a knot and then I hold this side the opposite side has like an X on it like this I hold it tight I take the yarn off my thumb so there's this little circle thing I take my uh, crochet hook I put it through that circle I yarn over the yarn from my finger and I pull it through the hole and I let go and I pull it tight okay and then to make this loop sh smaller here I just pull the yarn so that I can bring it in like that okay so I'm doing this super slow but I do have videos on my channel that do show this how to do this in a very slower way so you can learn so if you're a beginner beginner please check out my stitches folder in my channel that will show you guys how to do all of this in a slower way okay all right so now that I have my um, my slip knot like that I'm going to do a chain of 51 okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay you guys so this is my chain 51 here okay so the reason I asked you guys to have a tape measure ready is because this is the length uh, from underneath my armpit looping to the back of my back and to the other side of the middle of my 
armpit on the other side okay so it's a small for me so if you're a medium or a large this chain may be a little bit longer than this but for me it's about 51 and also it helps that this yarn stretches quite a bit so as you can see it stretches so it will depend on the kind of yarn that you're using as well some yarn may not stretch this much so which means your your chain is going to be a little bit longer okay all right so to go ahead and get started with our first row the other thing here is we're going to add one more chain to make it 52 okay so that we can skip these two chains and in the third chain right here we're going to do our double crochet but we're going to go in the back of that third chain just like that so it's actually 52 chains but i do 51 first and then we add another one to make it 52 okay so that's a double crochet right there and then we're going to move on to the next stitch and do another double crochet and then we're going to move on to the next and do another double crochet and as you can see here this is pretty much what we're doing all the way to the end of this chain okay so i'll just show you how to do a few more here especially how to work in the back of the chain so this is the front of your chain right here it has these v symbols and then if you flip it to the back it has these lumps which i do call bridges they look like a bridge okay and that's how you go to the back so you just yarn over you pick up one of the bridge in the back like that yarn over bring it back you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull over and go through two yarn over pull over and go through the remaining two like that so that's your double crochet and we're going to do this to the end of the chain okay so go ahead and do that when you get to the end of the chain come back and i'll show you guys how to move on to the second row and that is pretty much a repeat row for the rest of this back panel okay so i'll see you guys when you get to the back of the chain okay my loves so i have completed my first row here and this is just regular double crochet stitches so as you can see this is how long it is okay and now that we have completed our first row we're going to go ahead and get started with our second row and to do so i'm going to chain two so one two and then turn my work okay and then from here we're going to pretty much uh, repeat so we're going to do a double crochet stitch right in the stitch right after the chain two just like that and then we're gonna move on to the next stitch and do another double crochet and then move on to the next stitch and do another double crochet and so on and so forth and this is pretty much your repeat row so you're going to continue to do this until you get to the end when you get to the end you will chain two turn your work repeat this until you get to the number of rows that you desire so for me for my top i want it to kind of go from uh the length of it is pretty much right by my belly button and that's why i'm stopping it so for you if you're looking at to have full coverage then you need to do a lot more rows so i'm going to do about 30 rows and then come back and this will pretty much be the end of the back panel of our top and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do one panel of the front because this project consists of three panels two in the front and one in the back okay so again just go ahead and continue to repeat row two until you get the number of rows that you're looking to get and then when you have it come back to the video and i will show you guys how to do the front panels okay all right so i'll see you guys when you get to your rows i'm gonna do 30 total all right see you guys in a bit all right my lovelies so i have completed my 30 rows for this top so as you can see here this is how it looks like it's just a really nice i love this yarn you guys just completing it and seeing this different um variegate variegation of color that they input into this i love it a lot so as you can see this is pretty much it here so it goes to the end so what i did here just cut the yarn and then i fastened this area here to lock it in um, so please go ahead and do the same with yours because we're done with the back panel and this is pretty much how my 30 rows look like okay 
very nice and very airy so as you can see it's not very very solid in a way that it's not gonna be too hot for the summer um, also why I chose to do a double crochet because double crochet is a little bit more spacey and it gives you like uh, places where the air can come into the top all right so that is pretty much it here so I'm going to go ahead and put this panel to the side and then we're going to go ahead and get started with the first part of our front panel okay so okay guys so as you can see here I have already done my uh, chain 150 for the uh, one half of the front panel okay and um, so I did this off camera just because it takes a while to do the chain and if you're counting you need to have the concentration and things like that so I just did mine off camera so please go ahead and do yours off camera as well and when you have your number of chains mine is 150 because one third of it is going to be one part of the top the other two uh, thirds is going to be the strap of the top okay so now that we have our chain i have 150 if you have less or more depending on how long you want your strap to be then we're going to go ahead and get started here okay so i am going to skip this first stitch here right after the the the, the hook the second stitch and in this third stitch i'm going to do my double crochet in the back of the chain so this is not different from how we started off our back uh, panel okay so we're just going to do the exact same thing except we have a lot more chains to work with in this panel so we're just going to do our double crochets in the back of the chain and we're going to do this all the way until we get to the end of the chain when we get to the end of chain we're going to chain two turn our work around okay and work back with the same thing which is another row of double crochet and then ooh, why am i struggling so much with this stitch here let me try this without talking maybe i will get it there you go <laughs> um so when you get to the uh to complete your two rows when you're done your two rows then you're going to come back to the video and i'm going to show you guys how to start uh the decrease to be able to start your panel for the front okay so go ahead and do two rows of the double crochet with these 150 chains and then come back and we'll move on to the next step okay so i'll see you guys in a bit okay my lovely so i have completed my two rows here out of the 150 chains and because we did 150 chains and at the beginning of this we skipped two rows we have 148 uh, stitches altogether that are left and so this is how my two rows look like and I'm going to show you guys how to start the next step and to do so I'm going to do a chain two, turn my work okay and then I'm going to do um, double crochet stitches from the beginning of the first stitch here all the way until I have 25 um, stitches so I'm going to do the double crochet stitches back until I reach my 25th stitch and when we get to 25 uh, stitches then I'm going to show you guys how to start to reduce okay okay guys so I have my 25 stitches going back this way okay and now to start the reduction rows I'm going to do a chain of two turn my work okay and I am going to do a reduction stitch here so I'm going to do a yarn over go into the first stitch I will have three loops on the hook like that I'm going to go into the next stitch and pull one more through I will end up with four yarn over go through the first three yarn over go through the last two okay so just did a reduction stitch there so then I'm going to go ahead and continue to do the regular double crochet stitches all the way to the end and this is pretty much a repeat row here for this side until we get to our row 30 just the same as we did for the back panel so we're going to have a total of 30 rows to all together um, and as you can see this is the first one the second one and then third and fourth and then we're going to continue to build that so again what i'm going to do here is i'm going to work this until i get to the end so we're not reducing on this end at all we're going to do our very last stitch here chain two turn our work 
go all the way around finish it all the way here and then when you turn your work is when you reduce so in other words it, you're going to reduce every other row so this row here you did not reduce anything okay this row here we reduced then you're going to go all the way to the end here chain two come back you're going to finish that row without reducing and then when you start the next row after that is when you reduce so every other row is wh what is you're going to reduce okay so what i'm going to ask you guys to do is continue to do this until you get to your row 30 or in your case if you did more rows you're going to do the number of rows that matches your back panel and then when you have completed that you're going to go ahead and start the second panel of the front so we have two panels for the front this is the first and then you're going to duplicate this and get another one that is exactly the same and that is the two parts that are going to go in the front okay so i would like you guys to pause the video here go ahead and finish this panel start the second panel and then when you come back you should have three panels total which is the back panel that we completed this panel and a second panel that is exactly like this and so when you have those panels ready come back and we will be ready to join our work hey my lovelies so i have completed both my panels so as you can see here this is the last one that i have just finished okay so um this is pretty much the bottom of one of the the half of the front panel and then it goes up to up here this is 30 rows total okay which is going to be matching the rows that we have for the back panel and then this is the strap here so the strap is super long because i'd like it to loop around so you can either tie it in the front or you can loop it around and then bring it back and it's a little bit of a shorter nod in the front um but otherwise this is pretty much the end of the second panel here i'll show you guys the first one in a minute but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this somewhere here i'm just going to leave a little bit of a long uh, strand so that i can use it to um, crochet the top shut here when we end up connecting connecting it to the back panel okay and i'm just going to fasten this off here and that's done okay so this is one of the panels and i'm just going to bring the first one which is i started showing you guys this on camera so this is the second part here again a very long strap with it so this is a long strap for this side this is one long, long strap for this side and if i can just move it so i can kind of place it how it would go so this is pretty much how our top is going to go this is the middle of our chest right here okay and then the back panel so i'm gonna do the same thing we'll bring the back panel into the camera here so we will see exactly how we're going to be connecting it so this is our back panel okay there you go and then the way we will connect it is the one of the panels for the front will go like this okay so you can see it goes right to the top here and then the same thing for the panel on the left side side we will do that here as well this is super cool you guys i love this top there you go so as you can see this is it's gonna connect here this is what our um tie is gonna go um so we can either loop this like this and it goes around and then tie in the back or we can just tie the whole thing here but i did it this big so we can actually honestly i think it's going to look nicer to bring it to the back and then this is the middle here so for those of you who are not super you know psyched about the cleavage area here this is going to be super cleavagey area which is nice like you know it's a nice sexy top the other way that you can wear this to be honest is just to flip this so that this is the back and this side that is fully solid is your front so if you're very conservative and you don't want to show too much cleavage then you just make this the back of your top and the other side the front so this top is going to be super cool in that way you can wear it either way okay this is why i love this top um now i am going to have you guys do your joining so i have some stitch markers here which I didn't, I always forget to show you guys stitch markers at the beginning of the video. But anyways, you should always have some of these handy around the house because these come in handy when you try to um, 
just kind of like show where you're going to do things on your top so the first thing is we're going to sew this shut here so we don't have to do anything here but what we will do is we're going to get a space for our where our armpit is gonna go and what I will do with mine is I will count 10 rows down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is where my hand can go, my armpit can go. Or just just depending on your on the size of your arms to be honest. If your arms are super thin like mine, I will probably end up doing 10. If they're a little bit larger, then you just kind of increase the space so that you have enough space where your arm can go through. So what I will do in my case is I will just do 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So right here and on to the other side, I'm going to do my put my stitch marker there. And then of course, this is where I'm going to close this and then I'm going to count off this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to do my stitch marker right there. Okay. So this is where I have put my stitch markers right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the top here fully shut. I'm going to leave my where my arms is going to go open and then I'm going to close shut the bottom here so from here to here I'm going to sew it shut and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side now this will be the end of this top when you have it all nicely joined and it's ready to be worn all right so go ahead and do your thing make sure you have your darning needle where you can use to join your work and when you come back to the video um, it will be the next step of the project okay see you guys in a bit hey my beautiful people uh, thank you again for coming back to the video so this is done and I hope you are also here because it's also done for you and you have joined your top uh, together and it's now complete so this is how my top looks and as you can see here this is the top and this is the bottom here and this is where our straps are and this is pretty much the way it's worn is you just overlap this a little bit like this it makes this V section in the middle here and then you can wrap this around and you, as you can see on the videos is reversible reversible in the sense that this can be worn the V shape here can be worn in the front to give you a nice cleavage or you can wear it like this so that the V um, the V neck area is kind of the back it goes in the back and this is the front so it depends on what you're wearing it for you can either have the full coverage in the front or you can wear it with the front open which gives you that nice and beautiful cleavage for you ladies who would like to show those babies off so this is pretty much it you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed doing this tutorial with me I love that the straps are extremely long because I will literally be able to loop it around my um, my waist uh, twice and you can tie this on the side or you can tie it in just in the middle of the front or you can tie it in the middle of the back so this is a lot this allows for that to happen if you do long straps like this so I did this particularly for that reason anyways thank you so much you guys for uh, watching this video to the end and I hope you guys had fun creating this cute summer top with me and I hope you guys uh, will also subscribe to my channel, like, comment, hit the notification bell. And so you can come back and see the next video that I post or go back and visit the old videos that I posted. I have about 60, almost 70 videos by now. So you should be pretty good to just kind of go and check out all the videos that I have already. But anyways, if you do subscribe, you'll get notifications that I am posting weekly and you will be able to see what is coming up next. And I hope it's going to be something as fun as this. Thank you so much, you guys. Love you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, ciao.